Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show for Friday, September the 15th, 2017. Welcome to another eBay video and discussion. Today we're going to discuss several important eBay topics, including a non-paying bidder issue. We're also going to discuss eBay radio, and we're going to discuss some weird sales trends I noticed earlier in the week, and your comments and concerns from last week's video. So let's get started right now on this very cloudy day. It's been a very cloudy week. We're going to have rain on and off till at least Sunday. So it's not been very nice. Right now the temperature is 71 degrees. Your comments from last week's video are as follows. On the $1 item with a very high shipping fee, KBBBB7 wrote, it's also search and browser manipulation. Sorting by price doesn't necessarily include the shipping. It's a buggy system. A lot of other people wrote in and disagreed with him, but I personally do agree with him. I think some people search cheapest first when they're searching for a particular item, and then the guy who's selling an item for a dollar with a $50 shipping fee would get his items boosted in search. That is just my hypothesis, but to me it sounds like it's what the guy is doing. Nothing quite illegal about it, but it's still not nice. Several people wrote in discussing their sales recently. R. Dennis wrote, Our sales have been miserable since the second week of August this year, and I mean miserable, not just slow. St. Paul, Minnesota seller wrote, Joe, my sales are similar to the comment made by R. Dennis. However, they might be even worse than miserable. I finally got a sale this Saturday afternoon after not getting a Saturday sale since July 29th also averaging $34 to $50 per day, less than June and July. I think abysmal is my adjective to describe sales. Although my sales have been good, I do notice that Saturdays do seem to be the slowest day of the week. Stephen Bond wrote, sales were off the charts even with a 40% sale on roughly one third of my items. I got the fake email, thought it was some bulk email glitch from eBay and ignored it because I knew I didn't have any contact info in my listings. On the phishing email I reported last week, Derek Jacobs wrote, Hey Joe, another great video. I got that phishing email, but here's something that bothers me. When I get an email in my personal email from eBay, if it actually does come from eBay, it can take one to two days for it to show up in my eBay messages. That really annoys the crap out of me. Usually it's an offer for 500 free listings and by the time I get it in my eBay, excuse me, by the time I get it in my eBay messages, one or two days later the offer's half over with. You know, I have noticed an occasional delay in receiving messages in my eBay as well. So that's something to keep in mind. On guaranteed delivery, 5797029 wrote Labor Day weekend was crazy. Sales were way up. I find approximately half of my auto parts sales go to the West Coast, California, Washington, Arizona, and Vancouver. On guaranteed delivery, eBay reps tell me I am in compliance with 100% of my listings, but I keep getting messages telling me I need to take action because some are not. On promoted listings, I was able to promote a center cap I have two of. Are hubcaps still only multiples, not singles? You know something? Most of my sales go out west too, and I'll talk about that in a second, but I am in promoted listings as well, as you are. I'm also in the beta program for single quantity items, and I'm doing pretty good with promoted listings, and yes, I'm keeping up in it. Most of my promoted items are from multiple quantities. The last comment I'm going to read is from Cat Gallon. Joe, you have time to list, sell, and chip items and make these cool, informative videos. I don't know how you do it, Joe. My hat's off to you. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you find my videos helpful. That's why I'm out here every Friday. So let's get started with today's eBay video. 
If you would first allow me to take a drink, please, I will now take the drink. Very good. I was asked to be a guest on eBay Radio on Tuesday, and if you guys would like to listen to my little talk, I will put the link in the description box below. Basically, I talked about sales trends and how you can increase your sales on eBay. Some of it was rehash, some of it is new, but if you guys want to listen, the link is below for you to listen. I had one of my subscribers write to me, not in comments, but through email, about a problem with a non-paying bidder. This is one of those things that really makes me scratch my head in disbelief because the same exact thing happened to me last year and I talked about it on camera. Now the same thing happened to this gentleman last week. I cannot believe it's still going on. To rehash my little incident from last year, I had a dog item that I had listed for at least a year and a half on eBay and nobody was buying it. I was asking $150. So, I decided, against my better judgment, to put best offer on this one item. Okay? As you know in the past, I've had no luck with best offers because people never pay. So I put $150 or best offer on this particular item, and soon after, a guy offered me $100. Truthfully, I was glad to sell the item. I would grab the 100 and I did. I responded within two minutes of his offer, okay? He never paid. I thought he'd pay the same day, but he never paid. I sent him an unpaid item notice. He never responded to that. Bang. I opened the case. eBay sides in my favor. He gets a strike. I relist the item. Two weeks later, unbelievably, he opens an item not received case against me. You're talking about a guy who never paid for an item, who got an unpaid item strike. He didn't even answer the unpaid item case. And he is able to leave, to open an item not received case. Unfreaking believable. I was livid. I called eBay. The customer representative said, yes, I see exactly what you're saying is true. I'll close the case in your favor. I said, well, that's real nice. I said, I just wasted my time and energy calling you. This should not be allowed to happen. And the rep said, yes, it does happen in certain cases. But he gave me no hope that this, would, this loophole would ever be closed. Okay? Fast forward to just the other day when I got an email from one of my subscribers telling me the same thing happened to him. Can you believe that in 2017, a person can bid on your item, win it, not pay you, not even answer the unpaid item case, get a strike, and then be able to open an item not received case? Well, guys, it is true. All right? What can you do about it? You can't do a damn thing about it. You can't. I wish eBay would close this loophole. I am one of the biggest eBay fans walking the earth. But when something doesn't work right, I will come out here and I will say it. This particular feature is not working right. A person who does not pay should not ever be open, be able to open an item not received case. Okay? I noticed a weird sales trend this week. As I've said the last several weeks, my sales have been absolutely booming just non-stop. But last Saturday, bang, my sales stopped. Somebody put the brakes on, stop. I was slow Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And I was chagrined. I was totally chagrined as to why my sales came to a complete and utter stop. I mean, sure, I had a couple of $50 sales here and there, but that's nothing. I was really shocked, and then Tuesday, right before I went on eBay Radio, it dawned on me why. And I even talk about it on eBay Radio, in case you want to listen in. The hurricane. As you know, I've talked about this before, and somebody mentioned it in the comments I read earlier. 
most of my sales are out west, but my top three states, number one is California. Number two and three are Texas and Florida. And here we have Texas and Florida, two states that have been hit with hurricanes and have abysmal weather and power shut off and all kinds of problems. So that basically takes those two states out of the equation. So that explains why a lot of you guys have been slower over the last few days. Two of the main states have been taken out of action. And yes, I did talk about that briefly on eBay radio. I have noticed starting late Tuesday, sales have started coming back. Not quite to the booming level that I was at last week and the week prior, but still pretty darn good. And I'm happy. I'm very happy with sales. I am still encountering problems with the iWays tool. Even though I know my listings are all in compliance, the tool is still not working correctly. I have contacted some people in the know and they said it is a known bug. And iWays has been contacted and hopefully they will get it fixed. But you know guys, I find that tool to be very, very unreliable. So yeah guys, the summer is over. I hope it has been a good summer for you, both with eBay sales and off eBay. I hope you found today's video helpful. I'm keeping today's video short because the new season starts next week, summer is over, the kids are back in school, the fall TV shows are out, even though I'm not a big TV guy. So yeah, I'm keeping today's video short. I hope you find my videos helpful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up because it tells me that I'm doing a good job in getting the messages out to you guys. If I haven't covered anything you need me to cover, put it in the comments section below and hopefully I will get to it next week. Remember, I read the top comments each week. So if you need to be heard, you know how to be heard. Say something. I come out here, I make these videos, I want you to make a lot of money on eBay. I am a seller friend, not a seller critic or skeptic of any kind. Please, if you have any issues, I want to hear about them. I'm Crazy New York Driver, you're not. Thanks for watching. Go out there, make it a good day, make some sales, rock on, and peace! <laughs> yeah! Mm.